Good morning YouTube friends, the sun is out, the sails are out and we are aiming towards San Vas. We are about halfway there and uh, what seems to be the standard procedure here along the French coast. We have uh, pretty much waves in comparison to the amount of wind so it's a bit rocky but uh, it's actually pretty okay today. It's a nice sailing. Not all sailing days are um, sunshine and flat waters. Today it's more like When the hell does this end? The wind has been decreasing for ooh, the past two, three hours. And half an hour ago, it was so little wind that it didn't fill the sails at all. So we took them down and started the engine. Uh, the problem is that there is like three to four meters swell pushing into our side so yeah it's super uncomfortable we managed to get some lunch before so that's good but uh, yeah those lentils are um, uh, never mind I think you know what I mean. <laughs> we left pretty early this morning, so we are a bit tired. And uh, the reason for that is because this marina is non accessible except at high waters and the gates are open uh, about a few hours before and a few hours after so we need to get there around six o'clock this afternoon and uh, to be on the safe side we started uh, at the 6 30 uh, okay more like seven uh, this morning we have talked about anchoring outside but uh, with this well that we have right now we'll see uh, it would not be very pleasant if uh, this pushes into the anchorage but yeah we'll make the decision when we'll get there I think that's the best whoop whoop the wind filled in again and now we're flying it's much better movements uh, when we can sail again. Uh, the rocky waves doesn't affect us that much, and uh, yeah, now uh, now everybody's happy again. <laughs> first time anchoring in uh, tidal waters uh, a bit strange uh, where we are right now we are a little red uh, arrow the chart says 0 0.4 meters 
and normally that would be uh, way uh, too uh, shallow but since we're getting close to something called neap time the water uh, difference is not so great so even at the low tide there are al almost three meters uh, of water so um, yeah yeah Marcus is doing a uh, fingers crossed uh, behind the camera uh, but yeah we have uh, been uh, turning the numbers over and over and calculating and uh, putting on some margins so uh, this should be fine so right now we uh, can look at the ports here and there's uh, plenty of water to uh, to reach them but in a few hours uh, when the tide is low uh, there will be a beach i think between us and the forts so um, yeah uh, maybe in a bit bumpy right now uh, this anchorage but uh, the wind is turning and uh, then we should be uh, more protected hopefully Waking up on anchor like this must be one of the best feelings with uh, the cruising life. It's it's not really quiet because you have a lot of noise from the water, but it's much more calm sounds. So yeah, uh, we have been really well protected here and had a pretty good night's sleep. And since the gates to the marina close uh, when it's not high water, uh, here is no traffic at all. So uh, they open the gates now in the morning and there have been some motorboats uh, passing by causing some swell. But yeah, it was time to wake up anyway. So yeah, today we go explore. There's a fort behind me. And uh, on the other side, there is a town. So we'll see. We'll take uh, the dinghy in. Super garden.
Yesterday we mentioned our uh, log transducer, speed transducer, as um, yeah, after two weeks in Le Havre, probably growth, so it uh, won't paddle at all, so we have no speed to water. So um, since we're doing almost zero speed right now, I will try to um, yeah, put it up and clean it. Oh, there's stuff moving. Woo, that was one dirty speed transducer. There's even some like small yeah, mini crabs or shrimps moving around. So, eh, it was time to clean, huh? So the speed transducer is cleaned and we will see if we have some speed. There was a whole uh, like marine farm back there. It's not much but it's speed. It's super strange here. There's there's quite a big current, almost three knots now, and uh, it's getting a bit shallower, so the water is all crazy. A super strange situation. It felt like being in a uh, like washing machine, and the uh, wind shifted 180 degrees. So now we're um, yeah close hold actually, and um, we were uh, yeah. For like 10 minutes ago um, just drifting with the wind with the preventer and the boom straight out so um, yeah very strange 
and the same time when the wind shifted the wind died down completely so and five minutes later the wind picked up again but during that yeah no wind session we yeah we had to start the engine since uh, we couldn't steer at all it was very strange i think it must have been some kind of uh, like two currents meeting uh, in this particular area because we just uh, were about to round uh, the edge of uh, the peninsula here so uh, where we're going now we have a more eastbound current and uh, where we came from it was more no northbound so most likely the two currents meet in that area and that confuse both the sea and the wind it seems but yeah um, there's something new each day sailing here it's very different from uh, the conditions where we norm normally sail in Sweden but um, yeah. all went well and uh, now we're sailing again <laughs> Shabalaba everybody, this is a Ransom Johansson Marcus, I have done some delicious uh, evening salad here in Shabog, Shabog, yeah, pardon on the French accent there. So we tied up here in uh, Shabog. We will stay here for about two nights before we go to the Channel Islands and Aldenary is the next port or marina. Um, I have a great sail today, a bit strange with the wind shifting and the high currents but it's a beautiful day uh, and I hope uh, you guys like this video and uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, see you next week. Bye bye!